Well, how are you getting on? Sponge Murphy here. So, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of my Scaven and Hell Pit Abomination. This is a kit that I'm doing as part of Warboss Tay's Spooky Tober uh, Spooky Toberfest 2015 painting challenge. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to jump straight in. I'm just going to get this guy unboxed. Um, you can look at the previous video. Uh, on the channel if you want to see you know what my plans of this are for and everything so um, you know first up you get your instructions it's you know just the usual instructions but it's a big pamphlet um, and it pretty much breaks the model down into sections like the first part uh, one two and three are all just kind of the upper body the torso and everything you can see there um, you get your. I think this is a 60 by 100 millimeter base, and um, because I was looking for alternate ones for like an oval base, but they're just too pricey. And um, and two sprues. That's it. Such a big kit, and you get two sprues, but uh, they're packed with bits. And um, you have one sprue that's mostly just big pit, uh, big bits, and then the second one, um, you know, a very busy looking sprue, a lot of smaller bits. So that's the one we're going to have a look at first. So, uh, let me go a bit more. So there's the wheels. The wheels go under the back of the abomination and kind of support it and make it move. I think you can get. Yeah, I never really noticed it, noticed it at first, but there it is. It's like right underneath them at the back of them. It's kind of hard to see. Um, but they're there. I think. I'm pretty sure these kind of wire bits, they're not the tail, they're kind of the wires connecting from the back into the creature itself. You get a lot of small bits, you have um, legs and everything. These little bits here. Uh, you get like little mice pieces. I'm going to focus it just about. Um, you know, the, there's I think there's about like seven or eight of them little mice pieces to go around all over the bases so you can have some spares left over if you want there's the kind of warp stone weapon that might be a grinder that sticks out of its mouth if you want that option uh, it's going to be a nice little spare bit to have um, there's one of the arms that looks fairly mutated from warp stone there you go you can get a proper look at it I think I'm going to take this off because it's not really Focusing with that on, um, yeah, and it's much brighter now when you. But that big mutated arm is really nice looking. That's one that I'm pretty sure it will be using on it when I put them in, when I put it together. There's the mechanical arm. Now I wasn't pushed on using the mechanical arm. I think in the picture it doesn't look as nice, but looking at the piece here itself, it really does look a lot nicer than than it does in the picture. So maybe that could go onto it as well. Um, I might just dry fit a couple of pieces. I get some wooden bits. Now these are the heads that go on. You know, these are the heads, like the main heads, or that goes next to the big main head. Now these are much bigger than a normal scaven head. I'm pretty sure just by looking at it. Well, some of them anyway. These, uh, these two, and that one, that one. They're they are a lot bigger. Then I'm just trying to think. Yeah, there will be most of them anyway. And I think there is some of these going to be left over. I am going to be doing a leftover bits video after this just to see what you will have left. So maybe you might be able to work them in on, you know, maybe um, a rat ogre if you want to take and put them on that. It might look pretty cool. There's a. Um, it's full of these little legs that. I'm trying to see where they all fit on. You know, maybe it's just the the abominations legs itself. And um, there's all the kind of mechanical stuff, the steam powered looking stuff, or warp stone powered really. Uh, for the back of them, you know, keep them mutated, keep them big and strong. And um, this is the parts for the base for his feet. You're going to. I really like this. And um, you know, some models you get parts like this and they're not really that good but I like this one um, and I like the fact that it 
that the big chunky bit goes into this and it's like all flat on the bottom so you know you're not trying to fiddle it holding it in place on the base for ages um, here you have this is like a bottom kind of jaw of the big skull part for the main head and um, it's in two pieces I still remember seeing that on the instruction booklet when I was flicking through it um, and there you have the options for the arms I'm trying to see I'll have a quick look through the book if it'll say what the name of this thing is because it's driving me mad Let's see just have a quick look no it doesn't say but um you know these pieces do look a lot nicer and um, than the picture show so maybe that could be a piece I might add in in the end but this weird kind of I thought that was a part of an arm but these pieces are so weird and so funny looking it's kind of hard to tell what they're for and um, if you have another arm with the closed fist fist and um, the big long tail which is nice uh, this is the other arm with it doesn't have a hand but it has like a big claw coming out of it and um, then just other bits on here like a cover and a bit of a leg so that's the first sprue real busy looking one full of the smaller bits to go on the model but this one is the kind of the big chunkier parts and the mostly you can kind of show on this is the detail on the models itself so um, I think it's mostly just by having a quick look here it's mostly just body parts like the upper torso and there's a big hand there and the foot and everything so you know you can get a detailed look at the belly and the skin and everything is full of stitching and you see like little scaven markings on it as well Um, yeah the same there you can see all the scaven markings all along the back of it big pile of flesh which I think in the Skaven army book, it was like an avalanche of flesh is one of its attacks. So now you have like a metal panel to go over some, some part of them. And there you have more stitching. You know, it's really nice detail on this. Um, you know, it looks like it's going to go together pretty well. Like they're really oddly shaped and everything. This piece down here. It's pretty funky looking. Um, yeah, you get a bigger look at the arm there. The arms and the hands are really nice. There's like a closed fist down there and everything. And um, I get that one focus. There's his back. He kind of hunched back on him. You get a look at the feet. So, um, yeah, not too much on that one. You know, just a lot of details to look at on, on, the, on the skin. So, um, yeah, so that's just an unboxing video on that. And I'm excited to try and finally get this guy put together. So um, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to leave a comment below and hit the like button. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next video.